we're going to do the last who knows where challenge and we're going to do it with a few idols the idols make it harder to fight so they're disadvantages for me so things like when the foe strikes it you know it hurts more they have vengeance in the throes of defeat if they hit me i go slower regenerate from injury they ricochet uh deflect attacks and foe shall call harm cause harm on physical contact so we're gonna go to who's knows where i think this is the final one this is the bedroll it's hard to sleep easy these days what with everything that's happened so what's cool about this is you have these reflections which are waves of enemies and you get a little tidbit of a story from bastion the backstory of why we're here zolf very soon the kid's gonna have to face that man again for the last time so Zolf is the person that betrayed us. He's one of the Ura. So we're, I think we're going to find out the backstory of Zolf, which is this little statue up here. Let's see where we are for this one. Oh, okay, here we go. First monster here. I guess we're fighting the Ura. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch. ouch. Okay, I killed one. I killed one. I killed one. They that met was... on the worst day of Zolf's life. There in the hanging gardens, he aimed to throw it all away. What? So I didn't know that Zolf was planning on ending it all? That's a dark start to the story. Okay, so these are definitely going to be part monsters. I struggle fighting the Ura already. These birds are very difficult for me to fight, too. Come on. Okay, I got one bird. There we go. Two birds. Three birds. It wasn't the first time Zolf had nothing to lose. He was born to a simple or a couple who didn't last long before plague took him. Wow, the, the stories of these people are horrible. They're so sad. They, they like workshop. How can we make the mo most sad story? Well, first we'll kill his parents. Oh yeah, that's obvious. I thought that was without writing it down. I guess we'll write it down. But we, <laughs> we all understood that that was going to be part of his story, right? Okay, and then what? Yes. His house burns down. He's an outcast for his people. He once got sloppy with his thieving hands. The missionary caught him, but didn't rat him out. Instead, he offered to take him in. Oh, we've got a little uh, Les Mis going on here. You get caught stealing, but the person takes you in instead. That missionary raised Zolf like a gentleman, like he was his own son. Taught him theology, history, and mercy. Yeah, this is not going to go well. I think my money's on the missionary dying. And also Zolf, I think he's going to be outcast. I don't know. I think he's going to be banished or something. The, the story's taking too light of a turn. It's going to... has to go downhill. You're like, oh, his life's turning around. Oh, no, they're just setting you up for the next horrible thing that's going to happen in his life. When the missionary passed away, Zolf promised to continue his work. 
to bring about a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. I called it. He not a, the next reflection. Yeah, oh yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Remember that one guy that was nice to him? Oh yeah, he's dead now. Are there two here or one? Two. All that so well. Let's see, yeah. What else can we do to make this story that much, much more sad? Zolf started teaching the missionaries wisdom to any Ura who would listen. And listen, they did. Oh, well, that's good, right? Is that good? Or is he going to be, like, banished? Yeah, I have a lot of struggle with these, like, apricot. Not apricot, what am I? Artichoke. These like artichoke monsters, they they are so hard for me. So I have the pistols that can ignore uh, armor. Come on. Yes. Okay, got rid of those things. Are there more of them? Oh wow, I'm just taking the damage from. Let me just walk straight into the fire. That's a good idea. He advocated tolerance and argued that the Ura should atone for the war. He believed the city had much to teach his people. Zolf felt he could only do so much in the Tassel terminals. He needed Ceylandia to know the Ura had changed. Oh no, are they gonna use him to infiltrate and do like some horrible betrayal? Is he the Trojan horse that's like unknown? That's not good. His story, I mean, there are like 10 reflections left. There's plenty of time for the story to go way downhill. What is this enemy doing? It's just like kind of standing there. I don't understand what his weapon is. He decided to do what the missionary did many years before. He left the city of his youth to brave a savage land. Okay, that seems fine. So he's leaving his, his town. He's trying to bring his story to other lands. That's cool. Wow, this is not going well right here. Okay, I got one of them. Come on. Show yourself. There we go. Gotcha. The journey was hard, but he knew how to fend for himself. And then at last, Zolf saw the rippling walls on the horizon. Oh no, not the rippling walls. Okay, we have nine reflections remaining. More than enough time for some more disaster to happen to Zolf. Man, I really need some black tonic. to city folk straight away and in turn he fell in love with the city and his people mm. One particular. that's not good forbidden love are they gonna kill her are they gonna kill his love oh no don't do it don't do it oh it's like i know that they have to do it because his story has to make him want to hate the the people from the bastion but yeah they're killing she should not have fallen in love with him. Oh, that is not going to be good. Thanks. I'm worried about the story. These little birds are tricky. This young lady was fascinated by the Ura. 
but she never met anyone like Zold. She told him she knew all the city's best kept secrets. Oh no! Don't, no, no, don't tell him you know the secrets. That's a bad idea. Am I poisoned? I love the audio in this game, how the audio like goes out when you're dizzy or poisoned. Oh, I definitely am poisoned. Who poisoned me? The hanging gardens was her favorite spot. It was there that Zolf clasped her hands and proposed in proper Ceylonian style. Yikes, that's not good. That's not good. The proposal, and then what is it? They're gonna be marriage when she dies or after? Oh, someone's gonna die. And Zolt's still alive, so we know he's not dead. Oh, it has to be her, right? Oh. Ah. Ouch. He celebrated with his friends long into the night. Joy and revelry like he'd never seen. Too bad he couldn't remember it all. No! It's so sad. It's not going to go well. It's not. What? That was a massive hit. I have a fully upgraded dueling pistol, so it's not doing anything. And when I get hit, it's just like, cool. He woke up alone underground inside the Ura Ceylondian War Memorial, built like an Ura Den. But something was wrong. So they drugged him because he fell in love with someone? Oh! Oh, is that when the calamity happened? So he. They were planning on killing him or something. Also, I need to save up my black comics for whatever boss is coming up. Because I don't have... I have one black comic. Wow. This... I am completely surrounded. This is not good. Come on. There we go. We got some damage right there. That was good. The problem is they're healing, so unless I have to kind of focus all of my attacks on one. There we go. Got one down. Yeah, this Calamity Cannon is the one I want to use right now. Just do massive damage if I can. Completed a goal there, the, the Mancers. I think I killed at least three monsters in one shot with, with the cannon, which is sweet. Well, that was convenient. It ricocheted off one and killed the other one. He emerged from that hole in the ground into a waking nightmare. Everything that wasn't gone was twisted upside down. Yikes. Oh, that's a- he just showed up right by me. Oh, that- the, the cannon has the awesome knock. That is so fun. Yeah, the cannon- this cuts through all the armor, which is just incredible. So that's definitely the weapon I want to use here. Just ignores armor. Incredible. <laughs> He's not even moving towards me. I'll, I mean, I'll use that. Frozen. Air thick with ash. What few faces he saw on the street stared back at him with gray and vacant eyes. Two reflections remain. Yikes. 
So I don't know if they actually killed... Did they kill his wife or his, his betrothed? Or not? I'm unsure about that detail. Maybe that's going to be the final reflection. It's like, he found her as a statue and the Calamity took her as well. Oh boy. These laser ones, they're tough. It's hard to reflect it. Thankfully, I have Leech Aid, which for every time I inflict damage, I get like a plus one health. Which makes the health potions last so much longer. He found his wife to be asleep inside her home. But when he reached out to her, she joined with all the ashes in the sky. I called it! I called it that she was killed in the Calamity, and that was like, what happened to her? Oh yeah, she was dead. Oh yeah, did you think she was not gonna be dead? Yeah, did you hold out hope? Of course she was dead. What did you think? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna see if I can save my Black Tonic if there is a boss coming up. Of course she died. I mean, like, why wouldn't she be dead, right? Okay, we're not saving the Black Tonic, and I fell off. This is not good. And so Zolf returned to where he proposed in the hanging gardens. And there he stood, as if the gods would answer him. Oh, that was it. Reflection complete. Nice. Wow. Zolf, you have had a rough past. <laughs> Horrible. His parents died. His betrothed died. His missionary that took him in died. And then he was gonna end it all too. Wow. Zolf. What does that do to a person's soul? Oh. Yikes. This is a kid. Who gonna be okay? As for that man, who knows? Well, yeah. Sweet, we completed this one while you're in there. 500? I feel like that was worth more than 500. The Mansers, they knew everything, even if it cost them. Never thought I'd see that thing completed. Not in this life. Sweet, we, were, we completed all the memorial quests by doing the Who Knows Where challenge. Oh, thanks for watching Who Knows Where. We just completed the bedroll. I think that was the bedroll, wasn't it?